Great news. Weenie's stuff's been retained. Don't suppose any of you happen to know how it mysteriously appeared in the office? I don't know, but Matt was hanging around here yesterday, acting quite suspiciously. I bet he was up to something. Imagine TGR coming here. They're coming here. She said, imagine if they were coming here. Didn't you, Leanne? Eh, uh, yes. Today? What's going on? We're not interested. And if we were, we wouldn't be interested in telling you. Hmm. Still can't believe the rate you lot get through sweets. Hope you're keeping your eye on things. Take things down again. I'm not the only one working on the snack bar, you know. Did you get any crisps? Hang on. I've spoken to someone. You promised to keep it a secret. <laughs> Do you two love better on me to leave? Three's crowd. Great voice. Thanks. A TGR coming here today. Um. It's only this girl and she lives next to me, Nan's. And um, she's really ill. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I know. Our biggest dreams to meet TJR in the flesh, though. Well, she could. I shouldn't really say. But if you bring her here to that at quarter past six. Great. I'll go and get her. I told everyone not to tell him. He'll cause trouble. Dad, do something. He could be telling the truth. And is it until proven guilty? Anyway, I think I've got something that might keep him out of the way for a while. Matt, hang on a minute. I've got another good deed for you. Oh, is that your aftershave? That was definitely not off our feet. Very funny. Hi. Rose hip tea, please. And for you, sir? Uh, the same. It's funny. All these years, I had no idea you liked rose hip tea. I don't want to put my foot in it again, but please don't tell me you're another member of his harem. Treat us all like slaves at home. No, I'm Nikki. Greg's sister. Sister? Excellent. You can add us in on all these secrets. Pinch that. What? Go on, pinch it. I'll not feel a thing. It's like dead wood is that leg. Doctor puts it down to shock, brought on by all these shenanigans. So I thought you could give her any hand taking her things home. If you ask me, the ones who did this are more to be pitied than scorned. Got something wrong with her head, haven't they? <laughs> a slice short of a sandwich, perhaps? Uh, give us that. Oh, there's another one over there. Hey, Dad. Have you had nice sleep? Right, well, I've got your prescription, and the doctor's going to call around first thing tomorrow morning. Post. No, there wasn't any. Okay, I won't be late. Bye. What's going on? You want them to feel welcome when they go? Joe? Not now. I know what's going on, you know. Meaning? You can't bear to be apart from him for two minutes. Take me advice and play it cool. Our Joe can't stand clingy lasses. Look, I'm just popping in here to see my friend Daphne. No point in you hanging about. She'll only bend me ear about her arthritis. Look, here's the key. You go and pop the kettle on, love. That's my house. Well, off you go then, dear. Oh, I Don't you just love fruit tea? Yeah. I'm really into healthy foods. I won't eat anything that's had a face. Ever since I was eating a tongue sandwich when I was three, and asked me mum why they call it tongue. They do great sausage and mash, yeah. No faces on them. You kidding? Some sausages are stuffed with muck, lips, feet, even eyelashes. Two sausage specials there. As soon as I've served that lesson, I'll come and tell you all about his disgusting habit. That's it. I'm making tracks. Come on.
Is that letter over this place like a rash? The mail over the cup is soon. I'm already inside this. Look. What, on the problem page? <laughs> <laughs> what a wag. Here. Your feet? Not exactly Naomi Campbell, are you? Modelling monkey trotters. I didn't need any makeup for the after shot. And the makeup artist said he had a really hard time making my pinkies look well. It's a good job he didn't have to do your face. <laughs> You're only jealous. When I'm a supermodel, the world will be at my feet. Not if they look like that, they won't be. You've your big gob, haven't you? People keep joking on about our big secret. It's no joke for me. It's not the eating they're hinting about. Well, it's doing me head in, all of this whispering. So you come to raid your stores? What? I found them, Joe. I heard Achille. You don't have to be the brain of Britain to work out you've been pinching from the snack bar. Oh, you're quick, aren't you? It's stealing. You've got to put them back. I need them. Just like you need medicine, except you can't get food on prescription. I tell the court that when you get nicked. I knew it was a mistake telling you. It's a mistake if you don't face up to it. You've got a problem and you know it. I think it's bulimia. I found a helpline. Look, just mind your own business. This isn't my idea of going to pictures. There's no decent films out anyway. Come on. Could be a laugh. What's that? Never you mind. A letter from your wedding lover boy, is it? Is that what you seriously think? Thought you'd be missing each other. Oh, pack it in, man. Anyway, we even now. Come on, give us a kiss and we'll make up. No? Not until you explain what all that's about. You okay? Yeah. I'm used to people running off and leaving us. Yeah, okay, bye. Sir. Gardening stuff. Well, you're not allowed to start in there. Here, let me give you a hand. I can manage. It's okay. What's this? Can't see. Can't, I won't. This looks like the stuff that's gone missing from the snack bar. Am I right? Regina. Stealing's a serious matter. You sure there's nothing you want to tell me? In that case, I want you to sleep on it. Maybe you'll change your mind. If not, tomorrow I'm going to have to contact your Uncle Jerry. Greg! At last, some more I can appreciate. Hand them back that wifey stuff. Are you soft or what? Don't worry, it won't happen again. I can knock that one off for a start. In good time, mate. Anyway, I've got some special ammo. <laughs> Not exactly speaking. Oh. Saint Joe, pining for him, are you? He's up top. <laughs> you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Let's have a game of football and I'll make you look stupid. Keep your hair on, it's just a joke. Aye, we'll joke about your own brother, not mine. Joe, a word now. That's the trick. Show your boyfriend to his boss. She's not my girlfriend, mate. Why would I want to go out with someone who's got a gob the size of the time tunnel? I haven't said anything. And thanks to you, I'm getting blamed for nicking the stuff from the snack bar. Oh, right, just tell everyone. You've got to stop keeping it a secret. Right. Is that public enough for you? Have this one and all. It's all right, I've paid for it. Thanks a lot, Regina. There's no, like, kicking a mate when he's down. And I thought Ben had a bad temper. Laugh a minute round here, dear. What was all that about? Ask him. It's about time he told you himself. Look at this rubbish. 
kiss. I love it. I feel sorry for you if someone's kissed you like that before. Looks like someone threw up. What's a kiss supposed to be like then, Mr. Smarty Pants? This. Can I just check again? You've got to hand it to Brad. He's got amazing PR skills. Yeah. Well, the group aren't here yet. Just like half the stuffy bashes on the back here. Either <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's TGR or your dad's won the lottery. Sure time. <laughs> Mint. Okay, everyone, back up. Give them some space. Take him. When I say after three. One. The autograph is. Two. I'd love to. Three. Oh, crack shot, mate. <laughs> Sorry, local riffra. No problem, man. Keeps the boys on that to us. Hey, we'll pay for any damages, of course. What about my T-shirt? It's priceless. So are you. You just saved my life. <laughs> I'm never, ever, ever gonna wash again. Are you having us on? I mean, I've heard of bulimia, but I thought only lasses get it. Yeah, well, so did I. But I must have a problem if I'm not. If I can't stop eating. Is it really that bad? I mean, I know you're serious about all this fitness stuff, but a couple of chocolate bars aren't going to do any harm. Bill, it's not a couple. It's boxes and boxes. How do you squeeze it all in without exploding? Well, I don't do it. I throw it all up again, because I can't stand it. Well, if you can't stand the feeling of being stuffed, then why do you eat so much? Because I'm starving. Oh, that's mad. Look, it's not funny, Bill. OK, I'm just trying to understand. Well, why should you understand if you don't do anything mad? Everyone thinks you're great. And what's that got to do with it? Everything. People hate us because I keep blowing me top. Now they're going to hate us even more because I'm this weirdo who throws up everything he eats. Well, Regina must like you a bit. She let people think you were snogging in the shed. She wouldn't have done that for me. Well, now she hates us as well. I've been nicking from the snack bar and I can't pay for everything I ate out of me pocket money. Regina wanted us to own up and now it looks like she's taking the blame instead. Look, I don't know why I keep doing it. I just wish I could stop. Don't be daft, man. It'll be all right, honest. We'll go home and tell Mum and Dad. And then tomorrow, tell Achille, get you sorted out. Will everyone think I'm going mad? I'll thump anyone who says that. We're brothers, aren't we? We're a team, and we're in this together. That was mad. I've never been kicked out of an art gallery before. I've never been in one before. Me neither. Hang on. It was your idea. <laughs> Trying to impress you. Where should we go now? <laughs> OK, quiet. <laughs> Thanks for inviting us to Bike Egg Road. We're really excited about this project, and we've already written a great tune. And it'll be up to you guys to write the lyrics and to sing it. We used to come to the club like this, just a few miles down the road, and we always said that when we made it big, we'd come back and give other local kids the same chances we had. Will you really perform with us in the competition in Norway? <laughs> yeah, we've managed to squeeze the date into a tour schedule, and we've booked a studio session for you. Now all we need are the singers. Are you up for it? Can't hear you! No sign of Matt and his mate now. Losers. Mind you, it's a shame that that water bomb didn't hit the lead singer. Knock the cocky smile off of his face. Not auditioning. Don't feel like it. Who wants to hang around with a stupid boy band anyway?
Oh, pretty baby, I shouldn't have let you go. And now you're out of sight, yeah. Show me how you want it to be. Tell me, baby, cause I need to know now what because my loneliness is killing me. Now we've got more interesting things to do. Looks like Emma might be a winner. And she seems pretty keen on that boy band. Well, won't you be jealous if she goes off to Norway with him? Sorry, mate. Come on, lads. We're not going to let TJ get the pick of our lasses, are we? No, let's go. It's clear, then. We might be ruining the chance. She's used to putting on a show. Coming. No, I'm not a performing monkey. For anybody. Uptown girl, she's been living in an uptown world. Sounds like this. You two been on the blue food coloring? No, auditioning to be pop stars. You're Sarah, aren't you? You saw your mates. Oh yeah. Come on, I told you to meet the girls. There goes your date. What's wrong? Looks like you're chewing lemons. I'm looking for Clay. If she doesn't come clean about what she's up to soon, I'm dumping her. Now's not a good. Hey, this is Sarah, Greg's friend. Hi. Is this a girl's night or something? Oh, the lads are auditioning. Thought that was the torture chamber. My boyfriend's around here somewhere, sulking. Speak of the devil. So this is your boyfriend. Great. Ben, meet Sarah. If you're very good and give us a kiss, I won't tell her how you use and abuse women. Claire, he does on the phone. Um, Ben's a mate of Greg, so maybe we could all go out together. You fancy it? About as much as rolling in a field of stinging nettles. Joe! I'll catch you. Didn't expect these. Just wanted to say sorry and thanks. For biting your head off. For making us come to my senses. Face up to things. You made us see that I've been acting like a total div. And I'll come clean with the killie tomorrow. I'm still here if you need help. That's all right. I've told Bill now, and we're going to go and tell Mum and Dad. Forgot. Some people have proper families. Look, you've been my best mate, and I won't forget that. You see that there? That's Rosemary. It's meant to stand for remembrance. And how do you know that? Heard it somewhere. Look, I know I might have been acting daft, but I'm not always as green as I'm cabbage looking. Am I too late to audition? Well... Well, since you got past Nigel... Come on. Trying to impress pop stars. I was only watching. 
And you can't leave me Dan Goff entering contest, can I? Why don't you reply to your own fan letter then? Go on, read it. Why should I, Kay? Because it's not from a lad, it's from me mum. I didn't know she was still around. Yeah, well, she's been away for a while. I've been worried sick. When Dad fell, I tried to contact her, but she'd moved on. Turns out she's been living in Tenerife. Great. Book your holidays. What, and leave me dad like she did? Does he know about this? No. It would just upset him. Anyway, I'm going to send it back. It's just guilt money. It doesn't make her feel as bad about me looking after dad. It sounds like you hate her. I love her. I wish she'd come back. Some days I go home and I'm scared that dad's fallen over again or maybe even dead. You seem to cope okay. Yeah, well, my mum couldn't. I know so bad with a constant worry. Good job she left then. Otherwise you'd have two to look after. Yeah, maybe you're right. Anyway, I better get back. I promised I wouldn't be late. Clay. When our Terry went off, I missed him like mad. But you said it was for the best. Yeah, he was thinking of me, really. And you can bet your mum's still thinking of you. I tip the wink and I'm not promising, but um, I think you'll need management and I'm your man. Yeah, badly, whatever. You were good. You were very good. I'm not promising, but don't no. call us, Bradley. We'll call you. You were good. You were very good. I'm not going to see Ali's cousin again, you know. Are you better not? As long as you agree never to see that girl, you snagged again. All right. Ever. I said, didn't I? Promise. Go on. I promise. Five, four, three, two, one. Quiet. Woo! You were all great, but we've had to make some really tough decisions. And we won't keep you in suspense any longer. The lucky winners are...